That was a blast, dude. That's awesome. Between that and my high speed chase last night, I'm You've I'm, been fucking wiling out. I'm dude. ripping, dude. I got some guy try to very minorly hit and then run. He tried to like run away after he bumped me with the U Haul and yeah. I fucking chased his ass down. You hawked him. Dude, it was full like I was loving every second of it. Fine. He was trying to take all these turns. He was in a U Haul, so he couldn't I'm in the fucking sieve. I'm You're in the sieve, burning. I'm fucking hitting the thing. I'm like the Italian job, dude. I'm like a tiny yeah, little yeah, car yeah. just ripping through. He tried to hit a left. Dude, when I pass him and hit him with the brakes, like a pull up brake to stop him. Ooh. It was tight, dude. And then, yeah, yeah, so. I was like, you hit my car. And he was like, uh, sorry. And I was like, that's okay. I don't think you did any damage. I just wanted to make sure, you know. What was the guy? What like? He was just like a real scared older black dude driving a U-Haul. Not even that old. He's, eh, he's probably about 45. He's driving a U-Haul. And, dude, it was like, I think he was fucked up, honestly, because, like, he was, like, in an intersection, and then he started backing up to move, and I, I, four cars are honking like, "Dude, stop moving your car!" And he's like, "Bonk!" and hit my car, and then he tried to take off, and I was like, "It's on!" Yeah, fucking went and got him. Was it just you and your car? No, it was me and one of my coworkers. So it was me. Oh like, wait, there was someone. Who yeah, was it? It was me. It was me and like a probably like a 40, 50 year old black lady who was just like, "You'll get him. Don't let." Oh, it was the funniest Damn. fucking thing to have her like. Well, and I was like, sorry. I don't, and the whole time I'm chasing this guy, I was just like, I, I got it. She's like, no, go get him. We'll pull him over. Dude, it was so fucking funny. She was it. all about it. That was, yeah, she was fucking riding shotgun, dude. <laughs> dude, it was so, when the guy so came you out. you walked an old black dude in a U-Haul, and your partner was an old black lady? Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> he came out, and I'm like, well, just, like, stop so I can make sure you didn't fuck my car up. And I had front-end damage from before that I, if I would have, if I was a lesser man, I could have pinned it on him and fucked this guy. I could have mm. railroaded him with front end damage. Wow, but that's not who I am, Shane. No, so I just made him. I went. We went over there. We checked it out. I'm like, ah, eh, you know what, man, we're good. And then he, he gave me. He like went to shake my hand. His hand was like shaking. Ah, he was scared. Sad. He was scared. That's sad. He might have been. You know, he might man, have had some priors. That man might not have them license, dude. He yeah. might have. Or, I mean, who the fuck knows? This is where my mind goes. Who the fuck knows was in the U-Haul, bro? Guy yeah. could have been a little fucked up. He could have been driving a U-Haul around for someone, bumped someone, and was like, I'm out of here. And then all of a sudden, he did. bumped no the wrong fucking he psycho. Was fucking dog bounty hunter exactly. was on him quick. Exactly, dude. Bird dog Which him. is funny because it's like I don't – I've gotten hit before multiple times by people, and I've gotten out and assessed the damage, and I'm like, whatever. Yeah. Nothing really happened. You're fine. But this was the principle. I'm like, I got to catch this guy. I can't let him, like, get away from me. Yeah. I can't let the guy think he got away from me. I was like, fuck this. Yeah, you can't let him so fuck He, you. like, activated the inner psycho in me, and I was he like... fucking punked you, dude. Like he tried sick. to punk you. Exactly. You ain't no punk. I ain't no motherfucking punk, You ain't dude. no job punk. I ain't no motherfucking job punk, so I fucking <laughs> chased his ass, dude. It was sick. It was fun. It was actually a lot of fun. I bet. And I was fully, like, licensed in my head. You I'm should like, be a cop, dude. I should, bro, but I would go... We, I feel like you should have a gun in uh, out on the street. You should microdose and be a cop. I don't think they test for psilocybin. If I were you, I would take mushrooms and become a Philadelphia police officer. I would carry. I would end up carrying like a sword. <laughs> <laughs> I would just dress like a knight of Columbus. Damn, get a horse, dude. Be a I, horse cop. Oh my god, dude! I would probably control the population too well. I'd yeah. probably become a ruler at that point. If you got a, if horse. I was microdosing on a horse and I had weapons all day and I could ride around the city, there's no way I wouldn't enlist the support of like all the factions of Philadelphia and become the ruler. It'd be Red Red Dead Redemption, dude. Oh, that'd be You'd awesome. You'd be riding around with a horse just being like, howdy, well, I would I would just apply my fucking Taoist principles and probably become ruler. You know what I'm saying? I'd vote for it's you. It's like, why is the sea ruler of 50 streams? Because it lays beneath them. You know what I'm saying? Bam. People Bam. would be like, wow, dude, I just got to vote for this guy. And I'd, instantly I got a fucking political spotlight. I'd get caught up in fucking a money scheme and go to jail, <laughs> dude. I was reading this guy. That guy Sorensen's story. I was like, that's exactly what would happen to me.